Hi, my name is Gunnar Schaefer, and today I'm going to show you the solar aquaponics system that we have built as our senior design project at John Brown University. This is our solar system. We have two 120 watt solar panels that are powering the pumps and the aerator currently. Our shelter or greenhouse is from Shelter Logic, and you can find that online. It's a 10 by 8. This is more of a research project for aquaponics. So we wanted to keep it um, scalable and small size. Let's go inside and look at it. So now that we're inside, I'll show you the aquaponic system. Um, our, our original plan was that we have 36 towers and then we narrowed it down to nine and then down to six. Um, I removed this one just now so that you could get a better view of the inside. So as most of you know what aquaponics already is, we have our fish in our fish tank. We have the water pump, which is pumping water up this half inch. Uh, black piping. Then we have uh, three nozzles in here and they drip into our towers and if you watch our earlier videos you can find out how to make the towers for your system. Basically what we have is just the water dripping straight down. There's no um, no spread or anything. It just goes straight down the tower and it gets the roots um, wet very well. And we have about seven gallons an hour going through these towers as of now. We have three or four different types of lettuce. We have a few tomato plants just to experiment with. And in the bottom of our gutter, we have hydrogen, which most of you have probably heard of or seen. It's just a rock that allows the bacteria to really get in there and grow and make your ecosystem function better. One of the good and key things about our design is that you can unhook the towers. So first, we'll plug up the hole just so that it's not dripping at all or as little as possible and you can actually unhook the tower and then take it to market so if you want to sell at a farmers market or take it indoors or if you're doing it more commercially and uh, you want to take it to restaurants they can actually just cut off what they want what quality they want um, pick the size the weight multiple things so this is a good way to just have it movable, transportable. Then also, if whatever doesn't sell in the market or at a restaurant, you can just hook it straight back on the tower. Make sure that it's in the gutter. And then undo your valve. And there you go. It's back to work. So we have, like I said, we have four different types of lettuce. We have some arugula, some kind of a Caesar lettuce, just romaine lettuce, and then some red lettuce. And they all seem to be doing very, very well. There was only one type of lettuce that was more of an exotic lettuce that didn't do very well at all. We saw that basil didn't do very well in our project. Um, so we're not sure if that is because of the chemistry or if the pH is, is not perfect enough for basil. Also, cilantro didn't do very well either. So now I'm going to show you the inside of our um, solar system and how that works. We have two Trojan batteries that are 100 amp hour, um, and they're very high quality, so they're deep cycles. They're meant to be charged down and then recharged, and they can do that several times without being hurt. They can do it many, many times. We have a solar charge controller that we have hooked up from our um, batteries to our load and to our solar panels. And then we have an AC, a DC-AC inverter because our water pump and our aerator are on um, AC power and solar panels and batteries of course are DC. So what you want to do is just buy an inverter um, to yeah, make the power available. So here we are with our fish tank. We have a 100 gallon fish tank that's made by Rubbermaid and we ordered it offline. It was free, uh, free shipping for about $85. We have an aerator by Active Aqua, it's 3.2 liters per minute, which is plenty for the fish. We have a 250 gallon per hour water pump that pumps into the, the vertical towers and it's in the bottom of the tank now. We have currently two water heaters just to manage the water temperature so there's not huge temperature swings and that'll always help out and keep your fish less stressed. As I showed you earlier, 
the water is running through the towers and then it drips down into these gutters that we have built. And then it basically just drains straight into the fish tank. So there's no crazy science or anything. It's really, really simple and anyone can do it. So, well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. This is our aquaponics and senior design system, um, project at John Brown University.